Hello, we're currently doing a tarot card reading for the energy of the day. It's currently August 26, 2018. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel as well. Thank you for clicking the like button if you do indeed like these videos. So you can also go on to robinsealing.com if you're interested in your own personal reading or any of my services that I offer online or in person. I'm located in the Moncton, Canada area, New Brunswick, if um, you are wondering where I live. So... There is a lot of stress. I'm hearing don't condone those behaviors, that sort of thing. So it could be that you're feeling like you're just teaching your body how to relax. You're teaching yourself how to let go. I feel like if you are struggling with food or diet, exercise, that sort of thing, you want to make time for yourself so you don't feel stuck anymore. You don't want to feel like you're a prisoner in your own home, anything like that. So we want to make sure that we're not feeling trapped, that we're able to escape, you know, how we're feeling, that we have a creative outlet, that sort of thing. So we really want to progress in anything, any energies that we're in right now and really work on um, slowly guiding yourself and slowly gravitating yourself towards the things that you need. So I did my full moon ritual video, so you can check out under moon cycles um, how to do a, a full moon ritual. So you can do that underneath the full moon tonight. We're in Pisces. And you can also check out my August 26 full moon reading as well, just to get more insight on uh, what this moon is about. So uh, usually we want to work around forgiveness, but it, parenting's really coming up. So if you're a parent, this could be like a time for you where you're really working on shifting and making more progress in, in certain um, avenues and certain different fields, okay? So it could be career related as well for some. So uh, connecting to loved ones that have passed are really important as well. Um, our spiritual ancestors, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like people are making a huge difference in the world, so congratulations if you do feel like you're making a difference in the world, because I do feel like the people that are watching are. A uh, great time to cleanse your crystals as well. I'm wearing clear quartz today. You can also uh, go onto my website and check out some of my products. I have bigger crystals and stones now as well. So we have the lover's card. This is all about making a decision. So when it comes to forgiveness, who are you forgiving? Just acknowledge that. Maybe it's a parent or a teacher or somebody that's hurt you in the past. Regardless, we don't want to have anxiety anymore. We just want to kind of clear the stress and work on those new avenues that are happening. All right. And then we have Queen of Cups, which is still a very emotional sign. Um, Pisces is the most emotional uh, sign of all signs. So um, Scorpio is also like combined in there. So it's working on our feminine, working on our intuition, working on being more of an empath connecting to loved ones that have passed away are coming up because we want to feel more free and I guess if we don't believe that 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 their energies are around sometimes we can feel a little bit down in the dumps that sort of thing or even a little bit lost because um, if you believe that our spiritual ancestors are helping guide us and that they're always um, helping there's more hope and then uh, we just don't feel as held back all right so two of wands is really talking about fear energy Maybe you have social anxiety. Um, maybe like people aren't being overly kind to you or they're just putting you down. So we also want to um, not just forgive, but do some cord cutting exercises to really separate yourself from people who aren't serving you right now. So maybe that's something that you want to do um, tonight. Okay. Um, I'm kind of feeling like there's a lot of historical stuff that's coming up as well for some people. So maybe if it's about learning about crystals and stones, learn about... Um, why amethyst is important that sort of thing i have videos on that stuff as well under my product so nine of swords um this is a little bit of swallowing your pride really telling yourself that everything is okay i just need to like challenge myself a little bit more i need to go for it if you're local i do a healing night on monday nights now from 5 30 until 7 so maybe that's something you want to get together with other people share share your idea share your story um it is an opportunity where you can express how you feel about certain things or what you've been through that sort of thing but it's also also an opportunity just to receive, um, you know, healing, but um, open dialogue. All right. So um, there's no judgment there, which I really love, but prayers are coming up in peace. So maybe praying for more peace, uh, allowing yourself to feel peaceful so you can uh, say some prayers, that sort of thing, but ask for forgiveness. Okay. So there's a little fairy saying, and I, I do feel like this is about money and it's about trying to attract more um, confidence when it comes to finance so that you feel like you can get rid of anything that's um, not serving you at this moment in time. So maybe it's uh, letting go and releasing anything to do with um, money that's not working for you right now. Uh, 
productivity is coming up a little bit. Just keep working towards your goals. Connect with spirit guides, loved ones, that sort of thing. Um, if you're you're kind of like uncertain about something, uh, just look a little bit deeper because that's where I feel like um, the meditation stone is coming up today and tonight and anything to do with the full moon because it's really talking about go deep within and do that soul cleansing um, practice because you're going to find that there is more peace in your life when you do that. Um, yeah, so do the ritual. You will you won't regret it. Um, thanks so much. Take care. Namaste. Have an awesome day. Bye. Love you.